the Cologne Cathedral, which is located right in the center of Cologne City, the Love Bridge, which holds tens and thousands of love padlocks. Amazing and very tasty food. Ziplining events, which allow you to move from one point of Cologne to the other, the old city, which is full of restaurants surrounding it, and it keeps its original appearance. And last but not least, the Rhine River, the river that connects the whole of Germany. And on the Rhine River, you can enjoy amazing river cruises. Once again, welcome to Germany. This time I'm in the city of Cologne and I stayed at the Hilton Hotel in Cologne. The good thing about this hotel is the location is just superb. It's really right in the center of the city. So if you want to go and view places in Cologne, it's really close to many places. It's close to the cathedral, the Rhine River, the bridge. It's close to the restaurants, to very many places. So if you're coming by car or if you're taking the train, it's a very good location. Since this was a road trip for me, I cannot wait to freshen up, to get ready and later I'll go out to see what Cologne has to offer. I'll be staying here for a night so I'm determined to see most of Cologne today and tomorrow. Also if you have not yet clicked on the subscribe button, this is the time to do so so that we can experience the world together. Our first stop is the famous Cologne Cathedral. This building is so gigantic you can almost see it from every corner of the city. When you walk into the cathedral, the architecture is beautifully done, the glasses, the walls, the floor, everything was done to perfection. The Cologne Cathedral is famous for holding the shrine of the three wise men. It is also the tallest to inspire church in the world. When you get closer to it, you can feel its magical presence. When you're inside, you can light a candle for a friend, for a good cause, for charity. All of those things are possible. You want to take the steps to the top floor, that's possible. And from the top, you can have a beautiful view of Cologne City, the Rhine River and the Love Bridge, which is right outside the church. Also, if you want to attend Mass, that is possible in the Cologne Cathedral. Because the Cologne Cathedral was used as a landmark during the Second World War, it was not bombed. Also, you can see that the stained glass windows were saved from the bombings. After spending time at the Cologne Cathedral, it was time to find something to drink. And I stumbled across this place called Barbecue. I see they sell bubble tea and I'm interested to try how they bubble tea. So we got the butterfly, and the sunshine. This was my first time to try these specific flavors and I must say I really liked them. They really had a nice taste. As you're walking through Cologne, you might stumble upon the monument of Edith Stein, who was a Catholic nun. Actually, you will see that there are three female figures. All of them are Stein, but in different identities. If you walk further ahead, you will come across a statue of the head of St. Jeron, which is right outside the basilica. You can also walk through the street and on the other side you'll find the monument of the famous German entertainer Willy Minowich. The monument is really nice, I found it interesting. It is a bronze statue, so if you like to take photos, you can take selfies over here and right beside it there are some restaurants where you can eat or drink something. Next is the shopping street. If you're into shopping, this is the place to be. I found this shop. It has very unique stuff and it was very nice to look at. They look like party clothes and look how colorful they are. I think it would be very nice to see people wearing this at a party or somewhere.
We finally got to the city center. Here there's so many restaurants. As you can see, this place was particularly so full and it also had good reviews. So I decided to have my dinner in here. I decided to try the famous pork knuckle. Look how big it is, but I'm very determined to finish it. Let's see how it goes. For dinner, I got the famous pork knuckle. This is a delicacy, especially in the southern part of Germany. And also, we got some German sausages with some nice sauce. It really looks tasty and I cannot wait to try it out. I must say that I was really determined to finish this food, but as you can see, it's quite a lot. So I wasn't able to finish it, but you know what? It was really tasty and I really enjoyed experiencing German food. So later on, on our way back to the hotel, we passed via the Moulin Rouge and it was just nice to see the city of Cologne at night. Yesterday was a good day in Cologne. I had great experiences. I was back very late in the night and today I woke up early because I'd like to finish everything that I'd planned to do today. So I am taking a heavy breakfast because I intend to skip lunch. So this is brunch. That is why my plate looks so full, but I intend to really stay full for at least most of the day. I liked it also that they had this uh, machine to bring stuff around like fruits and juices and everything that we need during breakfast. What I also liked about this place was the variety of breakfast. Like really there were so many things you can eat like if you're vegetarian, if you're vegan, if you eat everything or almost everything, there's just something for everybody. This is the second day. I went to the Rhine River. It was really nice to look at the boats. Many people take a cruise here. That was actually part of my plan, but it was such a busy day that I decided to skip this part. But it was just nice to sit by the water. There were many people sitting here already. The sun was shining. It was really nice just to talk and chat and just experience the beauty of Cologne. The next thing to do was to go to the old city and it's really nice to look at. I passed here yesterday at night so it looked different but passing during the day is also very nice. And right here there are also restaurants where you can eat something, you can drink something, you can stay with friends, chat with friends. It's a nice social point. I think there's a shop here that sells ice cream. I didn't try them yet but I was told I could get ice cream in here. So that's really cool especially when it's hot. My next step was at the Love Bridge, also known as the Hohenzollern Bridge. This bridge is so full of padlocks. Look at that. Like there's so many people that have brought their padlocks. It's just unbelievable. It's also nice to walk over the bridge, by the way. On this side, it is uh, for, for pedestrians, so you can actually walk and experience the views of the River Rhine. Also, there are many boats passing by. It's a very active area. You can also cross the bridge to the other side. On the other side you can have a nice view of the church, of the bridge and of the Rhine River all together. It's also a really good spot if you like to make pictures. Next on my list was to experience zip lining from one point of Cologne to the other. I was told when you get to the other side you can actually get to the park which is known as the Rhine Park. When we got to this place, there was a quite a long queue. I mean, considerably long, but it was worth the wait. What I like about it is if you're a person who's afraid of heights, the way they are made is really nice. It's an enclosed space. So really you just feel safe. And the thing is, it goes over the road. So first of all, you start by going above the park a bit and then above the water and then across the highway to the other side where you can drop off and then experience the park. At the Rhine Park, you can step out, walk across the park, especially if the weather is warm enough or if it's hot. It was busy when I got there. Many people, families, couples, everyone you can imagine, they were at the park. So it was really a nice combination of people there. And after experiencing the park, we decided to go back again using the zipline 
to the other side and it was nice to experience that experience once more going across the highway across the water and back to the beginning As you can see at this point we are crossing the highway it was actually around four o'clock so i guess rush hour it was busy with people going back home or wherever they are going so it was quite busy with cars also we managed to capture a riverboat cruise just beneath us so i'm not sure where it was heading to of course because it wasn't easy to read the letters but it was really nice to have a view of that from above i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope that you enjoyed Cologne City. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.